welcome back to the After Tap channel. If you are new here, my name is Michaela and I like to post cleaning, how-to videos, lifestyle videos, and just general cleaning motivation. And today is gonna be general cleaning motivation. So it is actually Saturday evening and I really want to do a good clean now because I don't wanna to clean tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I want it to remain the day of rest. So I'm gonna start in the kitchen, do a quick tidy. Um, this part of the house is pretty clean, but I wanna get the floors done and mopped and do the back bathroom and the master bathroom, change the sheets and make dinner. So that seems like a long list, but we're gonna see how much we get done and I will take you along for the ride. in the kitchen with unloading the dishwasher. I always find this a great way to start my cleans just because it's such a mindless activity that you can just get off your list and it kind of jump starts the rest of your clean if you're really stuck on where to start. So once I unload the dishwasher fully, I will wipe down all the counters and then I'm just gonna start prepping dinner. I won't make it right away, but I will be going back and forth throughout this video from cooking our Saturday night dinner and tidying the rest of the house. The plan for dinner tonight is a pasta. It's such an easy meal that I can actually cook because I am not that great in the kitchen, but I wanted to use up all of the produce we had left over from the week. We always shop on Sundays and this was Saturday night. So I wanted to make sure that we used everything up before we went shopping again. So I had just a pepper, two tomatoes, and a couple jalapenos to use. And then I also had two half empty jars of pasta sauce. So I combined them to use the rest of that up and then just boiled some veggie pasta, which you'll see later on. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be going back and forth between cooking and cleaning, just because I wasn't quite ready to put dinner on yet since Kyle wasn't home, but I wanted to have everything ready so that once he gave me the go ahead, I could start dinner. but I have everything set up. There's two pasta sauces. I think I'm gonna mix because I wanna empty up the fridge and they're both about half full. Then we have some meatballs that I'm going to cook up, some veggie pasta, and this is great because it's gluten-free. It's made out of seven greens and it's really good. Got the pasta water ready. I have the vegetables cut and ready to fry up with the sauce. I have our plates and such ready. And now I am going to make banana bread um, with some going bad bananas here, but it's good. It's Saturday night and our fridge is getting there in terms of like emptiness. So we try to use up all of our produce before we grocery shop again. And these are all produce as well, just different fruits and stuff but we are getting there and I think we'll be ready to go grocery shopping tomorrow to restock, which is perfect timing. This made 
clean area had a really deep clean a couple weeks ago and I'll link that below if you haven't watched it yet but I wanted to do a weekly kind of quick clean while I was waiting to make dinner so I always start with the surfaces and then work my way down the floors really need to be mopped but before I vacuum, I like to dust off the surfaces just so I know that I'm getting as much dust as possible. So I went ahead and did that with these this Pledge Revive, which I love. It has conditioning in it, and I find it a lot better for the wood than your traditional Pledge. So it's the Revive one. I'll also link that below in case you wanna give it a go. I just find in the winter months when the house is a lot drier, it really does make a difference in our wood furniture. I get a lot of questions about this couch. This is the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware and I love it. It is a little bit high maintenance though in terms of fluffing. It's basically like sitting on a giant duvet. So every day I try to fluff it and spray it with some anti-infectant or disinfectant Febreze or Lysol just to keep everything really fresh. I also keep it scotch guard so I will link that video below in case you have a white or light linen piece of furniture that you're worried about getting stained. I swear by scotch guard and you just have to upkeep it once a year and it has done wonders for this couch in terms of keeping it looking nice and fresh and clean. Now I'm just fluffing a load of laundry so that we can fold it later and getting the hot water ready to mop this main area of the house. I'm using my favorite, of course, my pine sole, the original because it's the only one that's disinfectant, and then also my Vilda mop, which I'm thinking of upgrading this year. I have loved this one, but I have been so curious about steam mops so let me know in the comments below if you have a steam mop that you recommend or if you have any cons of why you don't think i should get one go ahead from Kyle so I just started cooking up the vegetables I also added onion in there and I mixed those two cans of pasta and made sure that the veggie pasta was up to boil and then I also added some turkey meatballs and those are frozen I just had to nuke them for a few minutes and then I added them to soak and marinate into that sauce so while that is cooking I can go back to mopping and I'm just kind of mopping around where I'm cooking and trying to avoid that area until after we are done having dinner and that is the final dinner we threw on a Disney movie while we were eating and it was delicious and now it's time to make that banana bread I was talking about before so it's super super easy it was a simply recipe so it's one of the first things that will come up if you write simple banana bread I just changed it a little bit by using almond flour instead of regular flour and cutting out the sugar but adding chocolate chips instead which I just love. I feel like it makes banana bread taste so much better.
takes 50 minutes in the oven at 350. So while it was baking, Kyle and I just went for a walk. I finished mopping up the area so that when we were back from our walk, it would all be dry and I would be able to put the furniture back where it belongs and continue on with my to-do list. I really do think breaking up your cleaning in this way with walks, with a movie, with cooking, it just makes everything seem more achievable and kind of keeps you going for those longer cleans. So now we are in the bedroom and it was time to change the sheets for the week. We try to do our sheet change every weekend just so that we don't forget to do it. So. We had that all done and then just made the bed look super comfy for when we went to bed later that night. I had leftover pine sole and water from mopping the other area I decided to vacuum and mop the bedroom as well we have an area rug so there really isn't much of the pine wood showing to mop but it really does make a big difference and smells so clean when you're going to bed everything done that I wanted to but I was really getting tired so I just cleaned the bath in the guest room because I had taken a bath earlier that week and there was gunk all over it so I wanted to make sure that was all nice and tidy and then I will do the rest of the cleaning another day thank you so much for watching I hope this gave you some cleaning and get it all done motivation and I'll see you in my next video yeah.